So every newborn photographer's nightmare is wrinkles in their sheets. <laughs> and I say that with all the confidence. So we're gonna go from this image, where it's super wrinkly, to this image. And we'll probably do some final touches along the way. First thing I'm gonna do is crop out the distractions and kind of make it a prettier crop. We're mostly gonna be doing the wrinkling. So in wrinkling, that literally happens in any kind of fabric. This is the stretchy fabric, but if you have it folded for too long, a good tip would be just to throw it in the dryer beforehand. But if you're traveling to your client, then that's not really possible. So we're gonna work with the brushes. The brushes, we are bringing down the sharpness, we are bringing down the clarity, and then we're gonna brush it on, and we made sure that we had auto mask on. And the flow is pretty high, the density is high too. And we're just gonna keep going, like just keep putting it on there, and we're gonna do multiple layers of this. Now, when you do multiple layers of it, remember where you drop that pin, because if you go over the same kind of area near the bum or near the hand, then it's gonna be obvious that you did something there. While we do want it to look obvious, we don't want it to look super fake. Um, we want it to not, you know, obviously have wrinkles, but we do not want it to look like, oh man, that what is that baby on top of? It looks like it's on top of a marshmallow. And that does not look cute <laughs> at all. So we're just doing another layer, again, at 100%, 100%, and 100%. All we're doing is we're trying to make these wrinkles just lose all kind of detail, all depth, um, any um, contrast they have uh, from one side to another. And it will look kind of lumpy, and that's just kind of what happens. But as we build and we build and we build, I'll show you what I do to kind of get rid of it. So we're just going to go ahead and then remove all detail or as much detail as humanly possible. And we're going to continue going and going and going. So another one, we're creating all the way down sharpness, going all the way, getting all that detail removed. And still going. Another thing that I use this for is if uh, my bokeh didn't come out as smooth as I wanted it to, what I do is I'll go in with this kind of brush and I'll just go like crazy on the background. Now, with this one, what, it, uh, what I'm doing is I'm also dropping the, um, the saturation. That way it can lose kind of where the light got caught. Um, and is bouncing back from the baby. So what that means is that since it's natural light, it's bouncing the light around on the ruffles or on the wrinkles. So this way it looks a little bit more seamless. And then a good tip to get rid of any kind of detail is dehaze. So instead of using dehaze on, um, to dehaze, we're adding haze. So we're adding more of that buttery soft look and it's gonna get rid of basically anything that we can see. So even now, it looks great. Like we have a crap ton of brushes on there, but it did the job. And I, I would say that I love doing this more than I do in Photoshop because I'm not trying to clone things out. I'm literally just brushing it on and that auto mask is a lightsaber. So here's before and after, and that's a dramatic difference. So I hope you guys learned something new and I will talk to you soon. Bye.